Now, Nina, how smart are you? How smart are you really? Like, are you really smart? Because I like Nina's wig, I'll just give, give it to you because it's my game, my rules. Bye. Next question. Okay, I want to dive in and talk about what's my game. I mean, specifically, I want to start with like, you know, I know you've got this past hosting TV in Canada and you did that before uh -huh. your drag race. So can you connect the dots for me a little bit, kind of lay some groundwork? Like how, how did the time hosting TV kind of prepare you for drag race in the first place? It helped me, it helped, it, it's the reason I won. I honestly feel that way. Like, I think that when yeah. I first was preparing for drag race, it's so funny because anyone who I had told like, oh, I'm going to be auditioning for Drag Race and like blah, 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 blah. Everyone was like, oh, well, you've already been on TV before. So you have mm -hmm. a leg up. But I was like, do you think so? Do you think so? I don't know. And what, once I got there, it was very like, it, it's not that it gave me a leg up. I just think for someone like me, mm -hmm. who is a little bit of a control freak when the cameras are, are on, like, it forced me to let go because it's almost like I was so used to the cameras being around me that I didn't feel like, oh, there's a camera on me, I have to turn it on <laughs> or anything like that. Plus it gave me that comfortability of like, you know, in, in the confessionals, which narrator of the season, yeah, <laughs> um, it gave me that comfortability of like talking to talking to the camera and not feeling like, okay, camera's here, like I have to talk in a specific voice, I have to mm -hmm. be a certain way. I was very just like, who cares? Go off, Jimbo! You know, <laughs> all this shit that I just didn't really have to care about, which is, which is my favorite, which is, which is I think it's, it's great. Because it, 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 it is an interesting thing to have to get comfortable to like being on, on camera, like it's hard at, at mm -hmm, first. Mm -hmm. and, and it's something that like a lot of people don't have. And I'm lucky that I've been training since I was 16 <laughs> on camera. Um, to, 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 to get it because now I get to host this game show called What's My Game on WoW Presents Plus and I get to be like a little game show host. Yeah, I mean, you're bringing both of those worlds together with this, which is special. I, I love that. Do you, I mean, 16, that's wild. Like I was not, what was I doing? I was like bagging groceries at 16, maybe. How, how did you- So you know you... what's actually crazy is I was actually bagging groceries too, but I got <laughs> fired. Oh my God. Because I was just tore my lashes off. I was pissed. I was like, fuck yeah. this. I was, I was fired because I talked too much. Because mm -hmm. mm. we had like this counter thing. Like they would like, they, they would like count, not count. They would time how long it would take you to do oh your groceries, gosh. whatever. It was like a challenge. It was like a mini challenge on Drag Race. <laughs> yeah. And I would always take too long because I'd be like, hey, Karen, like, how are the kids? Oh my God, yeah, no kidding. Like, did you watch American Idol last night? Like, all of it. <laughs> all of it. Like, all of it. We're fired. Fired. But I don't know. I, I've always just been, like, this little hustler, which has been nice. Like, my mom was very supportive of me, like, mm -hmm. being a, an, an entertainer, which, like, helped out a lot because, like, no is not an answer for me. Like, you know, I'm, I'm like, about to release this 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 album and this, this music video, which I can confirm is probably going to be shocking to a lot of people because it's, like, it's a, it's a, wait. What's her name? It's I literally has like <laughs> I was watching. I'm I'm in the midst of e editing it right right now with my director Caroline Torty, and I'm like, this is beyond. This is Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> this is beyond Beyonce. It, 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 it it's really wild. But yeah, I'm, I've just always been a hustler. I've been mm -hmm. very ambitious, and I think that's how that's how we all should be because like no is not good enough. No. Yeah, of course. No. Yeah. How how did the, how did what's my game come about then? Did you just stomp into the WoW offices and say, "Where's my show?" Like, <laughs> how did this come about? Where's my show? Yeah. So I I just emailed them and I said, "Hey, like, I have plans on coming down to L LA in mm -hmm. January." And I, originally, I, I was just gonna go to like see Brooklyn, work on projects with, with her, just kind of like be, you know, what the, what do they say? Like on the heartbeat, on the beat. I'm on the beat. Yeah, we'll we'll go with that. <laughs> Who cares? And uh, um, and I was like, oh, like if, if I'm there, may maybe World of Wonder is going to want to do something with me. And then I I I, I emailed Theron, who is like a, a a big shot at World of Wonder, mm. and I was like, hey, like I'm coming down to LA, and he was honestly, they were just so like, let's give you a show. And I was like, <laughs> what? Like, 
sure. Like, you know, we'll, we'll come up with a show. So they, and like the producers and stuff, like we, we brainstormed a couple of show ideas and they landed on this game show where it's called What's My Game off my iconic tagline, What's My Name? And uh, it was going to be a drag show where, sorry, it was going to be a, a WOW Presents Plus show where we make celebrities and drag queens face off against each other and 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 play this game. And honestly, it was like, we do three, three rounds in each episode and it was wild. I mean, it's been a dream of mine to have my own mm -hmm. game show, like, you know, like being on Y TV, like all the other hosts had their own spinoff shows except for me. <laughs> so I was like, what is my, what is my special yeah. day coming? And then finally with this show, I got to go to LA and like shoot a TV show. Like what the hell is my life? I couldn't even believe it. Have you always been a, a fan of game shows in particular? Like, are there some that you like grew up loving that are touchstones for you? Yeah, like I'm a Wheel of Fortune girl. I love Family Feud. I love Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? I love, <laughs> you know, all these things. Like I also mm -hmm. love like competition shows, but like game shows, Price is Right. Are you joking? Mm -hmm. The best. Yeah. And um, yeah, I, I, I love all those shows. So like being able to like get the Bob Barker microphone and like be like, hello, welcome to What's My Game. I was like, this is fucking really cool. And it was all, also not nice because like they booked so many great special guests that I really mm -hmm. felt like I was getting like, you know, the US girl treatment as they say. <laughs> the US girl treatment. Wait, I have a like burning, burning, burning question. Have you gotten to meet Rue yet? No, I haven't. No. Oh my God. How I how can we make this happen? I don't know. Like, I want to meet him. So I, I I would assume that like at like a drag con. Yeah, yeah. That's when I would meet RuPaul. Like I would see him in the flesh there. I I'm I'm assuming that so moment's it... gonna be wild. Like that. Oh my god! Like, imagine when I meet Ru RuPaul. Like the world's gonna explode. So are there like how does it feel knowing like these Australian queens get to meet Ru and work with Ru every week? Like. You were like the the one you you haven't gotten to do it. You're the one that hasn't gotten to. Well, you know what? That's just <laughs> it. I'm the one. You're the one. That's right. What do you do when you're the one? You're the one. I mean, I'm really happy that like because I love Ru RuPaul so much and I'm mm -hmm. so inspired. Like I watch all those I I interviews with Ru. Um, mm -hmm. The one with Oprah is what one of my favorites and. Um, and I think that there's something special about it. Like there's something special of coming from the family, but not having that, yeah. that, that, that path, like of like, oh, you went on, on a show hosted by RuPaul. And that's how you got your fame. It was like Brooklyn's first time hosting a show. It was the first time we did a Candace drag race. It was all these different things that were all piled into one. That was such a risk mm -hmm. that then ended up blowing up and everyone's so famous from it now. Like, you know, Jimbo on the mountain that first episode and all <laughs> yeah. these moments and like the finale and, and all the controversy and, and whatever like there's something about it and that that made Canada's Drag Race that much more special so although I am waiting very patiently to one day meet RuPaul mm -hmm. I'm very happy that Canada's Drag Race had its own spin-off like yeah, if RuPaul yeah. walks through the door I don't think I would be ready for that so <laughs> I think it's I think it's I think it's fine. I think it, it makes us Canadian creatures a little bit more special. And I think that one day I'll one day I'll meet him. That Instagram photo is gonna be wild. Yeah, oh my god, I can't wait. I'm I'm just reminded now of of like the joy on your face every time they announce who the guest judge was. I like I saved the clip of you <laughs> reacting to Alicia Cuthbert walking in because that's how I would react to like fucking icon, but you like lose your shit. It's so it's so funny. So like when it was somebody I knew, I yeah. was obviously very excited. When it was somebody I didn't know, I still acted excited just so we didn't have to do it again. <laughs> that's a TV pro. You're such a pro. Oh my God. <laughs> They're like here is so and so. I'm like, no. What? Because <laughs> I was like, I will not. Because the workroom was so cold, so it was so uncomfortable to be in there. So I was mm. like, you just move to here. keep warm. Are we yeah. there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> just move to keep. Yeah. I just scream to keep warm, which is why I screamed for an entire ten episode season. So game shows. The game shows coming out very soon. I'm saying. I was saying this is a yeah! huge moment for you. You've got. You've got music on the way, and I. I mean, I've seen. Whoa. Watermelon Sugar, I've seen Montero, but you've got a original music too, right? Is that is that what's next? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I I I wanted to put out these covers because I wanted for the public to get used to my voice because it's mm -hmm. always so shocking when a drag queen's all of a sudden a singer. You're like, what the fuck? Where the fuck does this even come from? You know, I was like, 
oh, you're a singer? You're releasing that music? Cool, I get it. Yeah. And, like, I'm a big pop mu- music head. Like, I love pop music. I listen to pop yeah. music all the time. I, I, I write it all, all the time. And blah, 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 blah. But I was like, how do I step into to this music thing without people being like, oh, another Rue girl doing, dr- doing music? <laughs> and I was like, let me do some covers and let me work on some pop bangers for the world to just eat up and shoot videos for the for them that are above what drag queens are normally doing like Mm -hmm. i'm I'm about to release a video that could be nominated for a vma like i could constantly confidently say that like it's like it's so wild like i sent my my friends some clips from like the monitors Mm -hmm. and they're like what are you doing? Like, what is happening? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm so happy because like, we had to like, I just sit in meetings and meetings and meetings to get these things funded. And like, I, I just love putting out products that are all mm-hmm. hard work because like, I want to show people yeah. that like, whatever they, whatever they, they want to do, you, you could be a pop star too. You just got to work hard to, to make it happen. And that's exactly what, what's happening with this music venture mm-hmm. and like the song. Yeah. <laughs> so who are like the, I mean, are there specific influences? Who are you really inspired by for this the, the original music? So the original music, when I first started working with the producers, Stacey Kay and Leah, Alice Canali, I was like, I want these songs to sound like girl groups, like Blackpink, Fifth Harmony, mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. very, very that, just like big and chaotic and loud, just like me. <laughs> and they nailed it. Like they, they, they truly nailed the sound of it. And then I remember like when I was sent the demos, it was, when I was, I just got broken up with my uncle uh-huh. just died. I just got in a car accident and they're like, Hey, are we going to have this music meeting? And I was like, okay. Like, yes. <laughs> so I listened to the demos on zoom with them watching me listen to them for the first time. And they were like, you haven't listened to them yet? And I was like, no, I've been busy, bitch. And they were <laughs> like, oh, like, well, typically, like, you know, like, we want you to listen to, to, to them alone and, like, kind of do your takeaways. And I was like, I don't have time for that. Like, I just need to listen to them. <laughs> I need to listen to them with you on the line mm-hmm. because we just need to solidify it. And I listened to it. I remember playing what's going to be my first sing- single for the first time in, in hearing the, the, the beat of the demo. I played it. And I paused it and I said, it's going to be a hit. (laughs) (laughs) Cause there was something about it where I was like, Oh my God. And then like realizing that it's going to be my song. And then, Mm. you know, they obviously write like a demo and and, and it's like words that they would think was going to be good. But I went in and I like made the song about the push and pull of a toxic relationship. Mm. Cause at the time I was just getting out of a toxic relationship. And, um, it, it's so funny because the the song feels so happy, but it's actually about my shambles. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. But that's pop what music. song. That's, that's some yeah. good pop music. But I'm so excited to share it with everybody, and I'm so excited for people to relate to it and just be like, "Prank is doing the damn thing." Uh, that's what I'm, I'm excited yeah. for. It. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Oh my god, it. I'm so ready. Um, I'm, I feel like we're almost out of time, but I do want to touch on Famous this week, which I'm excited about. Uh, where, how did that come about? I mean, obviously you and Brooke are, are pals. You guys are. Yeah. Pals. So bro- that was actually Brooklyn's idea. She, after Drag Race had wrapped and after I won, she messaged me and she's like, I just feel like we should be doing a podcast. Mm-hmm. And then we kind of like, okay, yeah, like who, what, what do you want to do? And then we like brainstorm a couple ideas. And then we, you know, we're like, who, who do we, who do we get to produce the podcast? And then it's just kind of like, all naturally came together. Brooke and I have the weirdest chemistry. It's like, gonna ask. but it came to be because like, we just wanted to like do something together mm-hmm. and our friendship blossomed, especially like after Drag Race because she was finally like allowed to talk to me and like right, right. really like, you know, be like, congratulations, you won. Cause like, you know how Drag Race works. It, it could go anyway. <laughs> yeah. And um, um, yeah, we get to talk about celebrities. And as I said, like, I'm such a pop person. So I just love pop culture. I love talking about everything. I, the Brit Awards were last night. I'm obsessed. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Like, looks. Little Mix thanking yeah. Spice Girls and all them in there. And they, I was like, this is why I, this is why I'm gay. Like, this is the reason why I'm gay. <laughs> yeah. 
and I want nothing to I want nothing else but this. So I it's just yeah. So so being able to having a podcast to talk about those things <laughs> with the Brooklyn Heights uh. is like so so exciting. Question who was the first ever queen to walk in the drag race north of the scene? Question what was the name of the queen who went from Toronto to North Supreme? And so you know who it's gonna be? It's Priya. Hides me pre. I had a vision, Miss Priyanka read your mind. I know you're thinking they're called decline. Your feeling like a mess might give you stress. Just own your best in a paper dress. Wear it well, even when you fell, just grab your.